They need to take the corrective action that is necessary to make sure that Decatur workers are safe on the job. Federal investigators found ADM and Decatur didn't maintain critical safety equipment. OSHA says those failures played a, quote, major role in an explosion at the West Plant last eight this past April. Good evening. I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. OSHA has fined ADM hundreds of thousands of dollars because of the violations. And this is just one of OSHA's three open investigations there. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Henke is live outside of ADM in Decatur. Cole, that explosion wasn't the only one to happen this year. That's right, three workers were hurt in April and eight workers were hurt in an explosion just last month. And OSHA is looking into all of it. Well, the factory business, working in a factory is dangerous. That danger is why places like ADM are supposed to have extensive safety measures in place. But a federal OSHA investigation into an explosion at ADM's West Plant last April found safety measures weren't properly maintained. Investigators say the company's explosion suppressant system was, quote, non-functional and in a state of disrepair and ADM had not inspected the system properly since 2016. I think it's really important that they take a, a lesson and understand and learn from this tragedy that occurred and ardently abide by the safety rules and precautions that so that they can move forward. This is the third time in the past five years that OSHA has fined ADM for failure to maintain equipment. All three of those investigations came after explosions at the factory. In a statement, OSHA Area Director Edward Marshall said, quote, ADM knows the important role maintenance and testing plays in protecting the lives and health of their workers and their property from two previous explosions, and yet failed to follow common industry practices. As a part of April's investigation, ADM was fined nearly $325,000. OSHA also has two other ongoing investigations into incidents at ADM, including an explosion at the East Plant in September. Lawmakers say they are confident ADM will make the proper fixes. It's unfortunate that you have to find uh, find those problems this way, but I have every uh, bit of confidence that ADM is going to address this if they haven't already. But Decatur City Councilman David Horn says the city can play a role going forward to make sure the company is transparent in this process. And the city of Decatur has a responsibility to work with every company and every business to make sure that there is safety in the workplace, and we're going to work tirelessly to make that happen. Now, we reached out to ADM with questions after this report was released. A spokesperson responded with a statement saying, quote, we have cooperated fully with OSHA during their investigation of the incident at the West Plant elevator in April. We are reviewing OSHA's concerns, and we look forward to discussing them further with the agency. Reporting in Decatur, I'm Cole Hankey, WCI3, your local news leader. Cole, thank you so much. ADM was also fined this September in a separate investigation involving a rail car crash at the East Soy Plant. A locomotive operator was killed after two trains crashed. OSHA fined ADM $15,000 for not having crews properly space train cars at the time of that accident.